let's talk about one-to-one -one reproduction ratio. And let's talk about the difference between a full frame and a crop sensor camera. There are a number of lenses that will allow you to achieve a one-to-one -one reproduction ratio. These three lenses from Nikon, the 200mm micro, the 105mm micro, and the 60mm micro will all allow you to achieve a one-to-one -one reproduction ratio. So what does a one-to-one -one reproduction ratio, or also known as a magnification ratio, mean? Simply put, it means however large something is in real life, it will be that same size on your camera's sensor. So this results in a very close up image of your subject. You can see details that you might not be able to see otherwise. But there is more to reproduction ratio or magnification ratio than that. How does a full frame or a crop sensor camera make a difference to your one to one reproduction ratio? Well, a full frame sensor on a Nikon camera is 3.59 centimeters by 2.39 centimeters. And a crop sensor on an icon is 2.35 centimeters by 1.57 centimeters. Now different camera brands have different size crop sensors. For example, Canon sensor is slightly smaller and is 2.22 centimeters by 1.48 centimeters. So if your subject is 1.6 centimeters long and your camera sensor is 3.59 centimeters long, the subject will be 1.6 centimeters on your sensor, resulting in an image that looks like this. That same insect on a smaller 2.35 centimeter cropped sensor will still be 1.6 centimeters long on the sensor. As a result, the insect is larger in the image. So compare this crop sensor image to a full frame photo and you'll see that the subject is smaller in the frame of the full frame camera. So a crop sensor camera has a big advantage when it comes to macro photography because the subject will be cropped closer in your final image.